What's ringing guys, it's Carl Ringer here. Today, when I'm going to be doing a what from my favourite Mario game of all time, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. <clears throat> um, I'm still going to do battle videos, so don't worry about that. I'll still do battle vids because I'm... Um, going to be doing some gaming vids cause I'm like hmm <laughs> people are taking slower to make new bell games on Roblox so I'm getting a little bit bored uh, so I'm going to start doing some walkthroughs on some Nintendo games and other games that I play Sometimes Just so you know, I had a different game channel, but um, that one's not as popular as Carl doing your night. I don't really use that of channel, anyways. Uh, hey, <laughs> this is my favorite RPG game of all time, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I. On my recent video, bringing the Mount of Seed Memorial Bell in Algadu, I announced that I'm going to be doing some gaming vids, and these are what they're going to be. Yeah, I there's a remake of this, which is mm, mm, a whole harder version of the game. But if you if you see, um, that's what it was. That's why was they used to be called. I I used to call them these because um, like they're supposed to be, you know, that on this one. But that channel, it's not really popular, and I use Caldoinger more often. Thank you. 
Actually, now it's not doing it that. It's not gonna work like that. I'll, I'll just put KTR shot for Kyle the winger. Yeah, I. Um. Yeah, I. This was the very first SNES game I played, and it was on a simulator on an old Windows XP. Mm, this is my favourite bit. It's called Bowser's Keeping This because the music is epic in this. It's alright if any of if any of you um, have a request of a game that's like an RPG or a Mario game that you would like me to play or do a walkthrough on, or if there's any bell games you want me to play, then just just let me know in the comments and I'll work to doing that Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. Right, don't attack Bowser, cause that gets you nowhere on this. Just attack that King Fling, which is basically um, just a chain shot. To be honest, it's just a chain shot holding onto a bone, to be honest. When I was younger, I thought it was basically a little round circle which looks like a music note. Because it does look like it. But as I got older, I worked out it was a chain champ. Come in, Mario. This should finish you. Mm. And now we see Bowser crying.
if you left it, they would have just disappeared, to be honest. And this is Exor. I used to know him as the Star Sword when I was younger because he had loads of stars around him and he was a sword. Um, but mm, that was all when I was younger. I was a really young at that age. I was about um can't remember what age I was about. But I was about the age of um. Let's see. I was around four years old or five years old at the time I, that I first played it. You don't think we know that already, Toad? <laughs> anyway, I came here to take on two stills since she's a bit free. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do the normal voices of the characters, but jeez, the Toad one hurts my throat. <laughs> Ew, well, the princess was here with you, Mario. So where is she? Ah! <laughs> Oh yeah, what's the sound she been? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Now would you need to uh, back like you always do? People would usually think it's Bowser, but it's someone else. Yeah, um, if you see, after that, you you go to this thing that's right about in the middle of them, and it's called Vista Hill, but you have to get all at six stars until you get back to Bowser's Keep. Oh, two goes there. A trespasser. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. And it's our first step to take you over this, uh, and if it weren't for those encounters that you, we practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. Um, so you see, it says the Smithy Gang, so there's this character called Smithy, and he's the main enemy in this game. Um, just so you know, guys, I. Uh, I just so you see, this is the Vista Hill I was on about. You can still get there, but you need to take the Royal Bus that's in somewhere called Nimbus Land. And if you see, that's the that's the closest you go in for now. There's a um up to break you right up. Uh, I'm just gonna be s s saying it in my hmm, normal voice um, for the most bit, guys. Um, my voice is uh, my voice is in a bit when I do that. Hey, 
you better watch out. He knows about dancing. He's gonna put your lights out. He's got more back then, mate. You know? Uh, I, hmm, I'm gonna be fighting all the enemies around here, guys, because then you can level up fast and, hmm, uh, like, some people don't have the patience to do this, but I do, and I always do this whenever I play it, because then you can level up, and then it'll be easier to fight bosses in when you have more bits. This should be our first level up, I believe. Oh, it's not our first level up. It should be this, then. This one should be our first level up, or that Goomba fight up there. I usually up boost up attack or MG attack because that that helps your power in this and it lets you do more damage to the Goombas and the other enemies in this game. And that boost up your flower. What that is is um, 
say that was on 10 before and you use you use 3 there it, it would be on 10 if I didn't get that so that basically lets you use more special moves get any flower tabs or flower jars use them immediately because then it will take you to see it was on 10 but now I've got on to 12 by using them That's your first weapon in this game you're gonna get if once you beat them. I'd suggest equipping it um once you get it. That just came out of nowhere. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. And that's that guy defeated.
And he was a hidden block. I'm going to save here, and that's going to be it for this then, if you enjoyed please subscribe for future content, until part 2 on my next vid, wing out.